In this video, I will be sharing a quick Revit hack on creating curved glass railings. Before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. And if you want to learn advanced 3D modeling in Revit, you can check out my courses on learnrevitonline.com. Now let's get started. So here I have this project file open and I will be uploading a tutorial on modeling this building next week. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, Revit has the ability to create curved walls. So the trick I will be using to create curved glass railings is to use walls instead of railing itself. So first I will create two new profiles, one for the handrail and one for the post. So let's go to file, new, family. Here I am going to use a template from English Imperial folder. If you want, you can use uh, English or metric uh, templates from this English folder. I'm going to use an Imperial template. So I will open up this folder and here let's look for profile. Here we have it. Let's open this up. Here we can create our profile. So let's select line. We'll first create the base. So I'm going to create a rectangle here, a three inch by three inch rectangle. Let's tap select this one and I'm just going to move it to the center here. Now let's press LI and select uh, pick lines so the thickness of the glass is going to be one inch so I'm going to give half an inch offset on both sides here here as well now let's split this line and use trim and just trim these lines so we have created something like this this is going to be the base uh, of this railing we are going to place glass uh, between these lines here now as for the handrail we can press li again to uh, create the lines here we'll use pick lines again and the height of this railing is going to be three feet so i'm going to put the same offset here three feet let's pick this reference plane now i'm going to create a rectangle here so I think we should just zoom out so it should snap these lines I'm going to create here three inches and three inch on this side and it should snap this line as well then we can just close this rectangle like so so we have created this profile this is going to be our handrail and the base of this uh, of the glass railing now let's save this family save as family and I'm just going to name it handrail perfect now let's create the post profile so first I'm going to delete this one and let's delete these lines as well then use trim and just uh, close this rectangle and I'm going to select this one and make it two inches here also two inches as well let's tab select this rectangle and i'm just going to move it to the center here so our profile is ready let's save as family i'm going to call it post click save so both of our profiles are ready let's close this family editor and go back to our project so here as i said earlier the trick we'll be using to create curved glass railings is to use walls instead of railing. So I'm going to select wall, edit type, duplicate. Let's call it glass railing. Click OK. Then edit. Let's expand this. Now here I'm going to put one inch thickness for the glass and we can select glass material okay it's already here if you notice we have sample height which we can just change to three feet if you remember we created the profile with the same height three feet so i put the same here 
now let's click preview to expand this menu and i'm going to change view to section as you can see we have this glass here now i'm going to add sweeps first we will load profiles that we just created then i'm going to click add and let's select handrail profile and if you want you can if you want you can assign a material as well i'm going to use an aluminium material now let's click apply there we go we now have this uh, profile showing up here but if you notice this glass is not uh, placed in the middle here so to fix this we need to adjust the offset let's try one inch hit apply okay i think we should put negative values here so let's add minus and let's try half an inch click apply there we go it's not perfectly placed in the middle of this uh, base let's click ok ok again and now i want to add this glass uh, on this floor here i think it's level 4 so let's go to level 4 and i'm going to select wall let's use pick lines and uh, the thickness of this railing is 3 inches so I'll put the same here 3 inch offset and let's pick the edges here there we go see that in 3d as you can see we have created this cool looking curved glass railing here to add the post we can use wall sweep let's click this drop down select wall sweep edit type duplicate I'm going to call it post just click ok and let's select post profile that we just created and i'm going to apply the same material just click ok and as i hover over this uh, railing we should see the post but right now it's showing horizontal but we here we have an option to select vertical just click on it and let's add the sweep there we go now you need to click restart wall sweep each time when you add a new post. So let's click skip and I'm going to select this one and just drag it down. And here I think from the base as well we can just move it out or we can use align. now uh, instead of creating uh, post one by one we can simply delete this and go to the elevation and we can just create an array here just press ar and make sure move to set to second let's say you want to place this post let's say you want to place them at three feet so just click and let's try 10 or 17 there we go i think some of them are extra so we can just ignore that warning so we have added the posts to this railing as well one more thing if you want to add gap between the glass panels you can use wall reveal instead of sweep so let's select all of these and delete and we'll create we will create a new wall reveal type Just select wall reveal from this drop down and let's just leave it reveal to and we can select the same profile that we just created posts and if i click it head escape there we go we now have gap uh, created between these of course you can create uh, a new profile for the reveals uh, with a smaller size so that's how you can create curved glass railings in Revit. so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so if you found it helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon your support helps me create new videos every week 
make sure to check out my Revit courses on learnrevitonline.com and yeah i will see you guys in the next video